Bitcoin is the king of that, you know, and other Bitcoin forks that wanted to be an, you know, a bearer instrument store of value, right? would be a property, a Bitcoin cash or a Litecoin, something like that. Then you've got crypto currencies. I don't think I don't think Bitcoin's a currency because uh, a, a currency I define in nation state sense. A currency is an a, a digital asset that you can transfer as a you know in a transaction without incurring a taxable obligation. So that means it has to be a stable dollar or a stable euro or a stable yen, a stable coin. Mm -hmm. So I think you've got cryptocurrencies, Tether, Circle, most famous. Then I think you've got crypto platforms. You know, and Ethereum is the most famous of the crypto platforms, the platform upon which, you know, with smart contract functionality, et cetera. And then I think you've got just crypto securities. It's just like my favorite whatever meme coin, and I love it because I love it, and it's attached to my game or my company or my persona or my whatever. I think if you, if you, you know, pushed me and said, well, what's the second best? I would say... The world wants two things. It wants crypto property as a savings account and it wants cryptocurrency as a checking account. Mm -hmm. And that means that the that the most popular thing really is going to be a stable coin dollar. Right. And is there's a maybe a fight right now, it might be tether, right? But mm -hmm. st a, a stable dollar, because I feel like the market opportunity it's not clear that there'll be one that will win the class of stable dollars is probably a one to ten trillion dollar market easily mm -hmm. i think that in the crypto platform space ethereum will compete with solana and binance smart chain and i mean the first question is is uh what's the regulatory risk how likely is it to be deemed a property versus security and the second is is what's the competitive risk and the third is what's the speed and the performance and uh and the f you know all those things you know lead to the question of what's the security risk how likely is it to crash and burn and and how stable or unstable is it and then there's the mar you know the marketing risk i mean there are different teams behind each of these things and and communities behind them i i think that um the the big cloud looming over the crypto industry is regulatory treatment of cryptocurrencies and regulatory treatment of crypto securities and crypto platforms. And I think that won't be determined until the end of the first Biden administration. For example, um, there are people that would like only US, US FDIC insured banks to issue cryptocurrencies. They, they want JP Morgan to issue a crypto dollar backed one to one. But then in the U.S. right now, we have Circle and we have other companies that are licensed entities that are backed by cash and cash equivalents, but they're not FDIC insured banks. Mm -hmm. There's also a debate in Congress about whether state chartered banks should be able to issue these things. And then we have Tether and, and others that are outside of the U.S. jurisdiction. They're probably not backed by cash and cash equivalents. They're backed by stuff. And we don't know what stuff. And then finally, you have, you know, UST and DAI, which are algorithmic stable coins, right, that are even uh, more innovative further outside the compliance framework. So if you ask who's going to win, the question is really, I don't know, will the market decide or will the regulators decide if the regulators get out of the way and the market fought out? Well, then it's an interesting discussion. Yeah. And then I think that all bets are off if if the regulators get more heavy handed with this. And I think you could have the same discussion with crypto properties, like like the DeFi exchanges and the crypto exchanges. The SEC would like to regulate the crypto exchanges. They like to regulate the DeFi exchanges. That means they may regulate the crypto platforms and and at what rate and in what fashion. And so I think that. I could give you an opinion if if it was limited to competition under the current regulatory regime, but uh, I think that the regulations are, are are so fast moving and it's so uncertain that it's it it, it you can't make a decision without considering. Uh, the potential actions of the regulators classified as crypto property because the US dollar is a currency. So unless that. your crypto asset is pegged algorithmically or stably to the value of the dollar is not a currency, it's a property or it's an asset. So let's assume it was decentralized. 
Yep. Well, it's in, it's increasing at not quite five what five percent a year inflation rate, but it's it's not five percent exponentially. It's like a plus five million, five uh, percent something. Captain is less. I, f- I forget the exact number, but it's an inflationary property. It's got a lower inflation rate than the U.S. dollar, and it's got a much lower inflation rate than than uh, many other fiat currencies. Stocks. It, do- it doesn't absolve you of your ethical and securities liabilities if you're you know if you're promoting it. So like like I I don't have a problem with like people buying a stock. It's just. Uh, the way I divide the world is right. There's investment, there's saving, and there's speculation, and there's trading. So Bitcoin is an asset for saving. If if you want to save money for a hundred years, you don't really want to take on execution risk or the like. So you're just buying something to hold forever. For the, for you to actually endorse something as a property, like if you said to me, Mike, what should I? buy for the next 100 years, I say, well, some amount of real estate, some amount of scarce collectibles, some amount of Bitcoin, right? You can run your company, right? But mm-hmm. but running your company is an investment. So the savings are properties. If you said, what should I invest in? I'd say, well, here's a list of good companies, private companies, you can start your own company, that's an investment, right? Um, if you said, what should I trade? Well, I'm trading as like a proprietary thing. Like I'm, I don't, I don't have any special insight into that. If you're a good trader, you know you are. If you said to me, "What should you speculate in?" Mm-hmm. We talk about meme stocks <laughs> and right. meme it's- coins, and and it's kind of sits up there. It sits right in the same space with what horse should you bet on, and what sports team should you gamble on, and should you bet on black six times in a row and double down each time. It's, I mean, it's fun, but at the end of the day, it's uh, it's a speculation, right? You you can't build a civilization on speculation on it. It's not an institutional asset, and, and in fact, where I'd leave it, right, is Bitcoin is clearly digital property, which, which makes it an institutional grade investable asset for a public company, a public figure, a public investor, or anybody that's risk adverse. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, the other, the top 100 other cryptos are like venture capital investments. And if you're a VC and if you're a qualified technical investor and you have a pool of capital and you can take that kind of risk, then you can parse through that and form opinions. It's just orders of magnitude more risky because of competition, because of ambition, and because of regulation. Do hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel.